Today we are attempting to recreate a deck that we lost to yesterday and lost to badly. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing well. I know uh, today is Thursday, normally our flex day, but again, because we're early on in the uh, the season of Streets of New Capenna, I wanted to keep standard going here because uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on right now. And so I didn't want to miss out on that. Uh, we will jump back into some other gameplay, some poppers, some commander, some modern at some point down the line, but not today. Uh, so let's talk about today's deck. Uh, this is Obnixilis' Titan deck. Uh, this is the deck that we played against yesterday uh, that really, really kicked our butt. They were able to Obnixilis casualtying out with the uh, Demigoth or the Amo, the big old Titan, uh, to make an 11 loyalty Obnixilis <laughs> uh, ultimate right away and be able to essentially draw seven cards right away. So. Uh, really, really powerful little combo here for not that much mana investment. I mean, you're looking between the two, yeah, sure, seven mana, but, you know, you don't have to play them right in the same turn. So, very, very interesting deck here. Uh, very interesting little combo. This also features the Devilish Valet with things like Tend the Pests, uh, which you can use to sacrifice either a Shakedown Heavy or a Titan, uh, basically creating a bunch of little 1-1s uh, which all double up the Valet's power. Uh, so you can really get in for a good solid attack very early. Uh, it's a very cheap deck overall. I mean, you're looking max four mana. Uh, we do have Path of Peril, which you can use. You can cleave this out. We do have some white mana in the uh, the plan here, just in case. We also do have treasure tokens with Deadly Dispute. But generally speaking, what's really nice is you can use this for three. Uh, sweep the board of a lot of things right now. Uh, especially against things like, while it doesn't hit Runeforge Champion, it does hit a lot of stuff in the enchantments deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it hits a lot of the aggro matchups, things like Luminarch Aspirant, uh, the Hopeful Initiate, things like that. It just kills it all. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily touch a lot of our stuff aside from the Shambling Gas, which we kind of want to die anyway. Uh, so we've got that Shakedown Heavy, we've got the Valet, we've got the Titan. This, without cleaving it, doesn't hit any of it, uh, which is killer. Uh, so the real goal of this deck is to to ramp out either a valet or an obnixilis with the uh, the big stuff here and just gain tons and tons of value. We do have a lot of control, not a lot, but some control elements between the infernal grasp and the path of peril. This is my assumption on the list. So what I'll what I'm gonna say here is that this is the starting point of the list, not necessarily the final numbers. You'll notice we just have four ofs for basically everything. Uh, in fact, everything. I don't think this is the exact list by any means, but essentially what I did was shove every card that I could think of that worked here into the list and started there. So we're gonna be learning together as we sculpt this deck, uh, but I think it's a really fun one, a really powerful one, and I'm really stoked to see that the uh, the Titan's getting a little bit of play because I do think it's a very good card. So let's see how things go, guys. We'll jump into some games. We'll see if we can get some wins, and I hope you guys have a fun time with us. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And uh, this is not a great hand. If we get another land, though, we're actually okay. We do have the Infernal Grasp as well as the Path of Peril, too. So, like, if we happen to find ourselves in an aggro matchup, this is pretty solid to keep. So, I'm going to try it, not be super optimistic about it, but uh, it does give us some options. We'll probably end up playing this on the Grim Climb, and that's very good. Um,. So I think we'll end up playing the Deathcap Blade first. We don't have a red card in our hand that we need to throw this out quite yet, so I think this is pretty straightforward. Interesting they go ahead and play this out. Wow. Uh, would not have expected that. Um, so here, I actually think we do play for the white side. Not that we need to, um, because chances are we are just going to end up Path of Paraling out right away, but this works out great. Let's go ahead and just kill that. Easy enough. Uh, just kind of clean answer to that. Uh, and then if they so choose, they can uh, get some stuff out there. But that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shake down heavy here. Uh, th again, this is just a really powerful threat that Path of Peril doesn't hit. If we go ahead and uh, swing it for for the non-cleaved cost. And so this actually gets in for some damage pretty quickly too, as we need it. Uh, and so it also just kind of blocks pretty efficiently. Um, 
eventually we do have the the tend the pest so if we get like a devilish valet we can set up a world where we just tend the pests on the shakedown heavy and really get some some stuff going here but uh yeah super happy with this awesome um i mean i think i'm just gonna go ahead and do this it seems like they're a little lackluster on the uh on what they've got going on uh, and so let's go ahead and get an easy two for one here. We still have an Infernal Grasp available, so I'm not really that concerned. Um, and a land off the top was really helpful, to be honest. <laughs> that was really, really nice. All right, Showdown, giving them some extra cards here. Uh, for sure a great play, but again, I think we're pretty well set up for all this, so I'm not that concerned about it. Um, well, let's do this. I tell you what, let's go into attacks first. Uh, just to see if they allow us to draw the card, which they do. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and play you. And I think we just go ahead and play the Shambling Ghast and pass. Um, there's really no need to uh, jump the gun on anything here because we do have all instant speed stuff at this point. So we can probably Infernal Grasp this Runeforge Champion, which again, we assumed was going to come down here. Uh, what we'll do is, in response to them playing a rune on this, we'll go ahead and Infernal Grasp it, just so they waste a rune as well. Um, and then we can actually Deadly Dispute this Shambling Ghast if we so choose. So, this seems pretty reasonable. Um, this really encourages them to invest a little bit more into this as well, uh, which is great. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do this now kind of wastes a lot on their end, which is phenomenal. So, um, yep. <laughs> so they're at the point where they do have to enchant the lands just to be able to really dig any further into their deck, which is perfectly fine by me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Technically, we should wait until our end turn, but it's, it's just fine. And this is very good, actually. We might be able to just win the game here. Um, do we... No, we can't. Okay. Alright, sick. So, let's do this. Um, let me go ahead and play this out. Now, I, I'm not positive on this, but let's see how this works out. So, now they have the opportunity to give us the card draw, uh, which is great. So, I think what we can do is, yeah, get them to give us the card draw and then do this. Uh, which basically they <laughs> basically that's insult to injury but uh, it gives us a very clean win look at that fantastic well that was amazing uh, exactly how we drew it up that was absolutely fantastic didn't get to see the Omnixilis play but did get to see the valet which is exactly what we wanted so let's jump into game two what's up guys before we jump into the next game i just want to remind you if you would like to pick up this month's patreon rewards feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves all right guys here we are for game number two uh and again this is an okay keep we do have the the 10 the pest with the shakedown heavy so i think we can run with this we have very little in the way of removal however we do have uh a infernal grasp which is obviously very helpful so we'll see how this goes um Hmm. I'm going to risk throwing this out. So technically, I would normally want to leave up the Infernal Grasp here. Um, but I think we can kind of push it a little bit. Um, part of me really wants to get to something bigger. But again, I'm going to... We've kind of committed to building up our own board at this point. So I'm going to go for this. If they get this built up, with uh, some of the runes, which it looks like that's probably going to be the case. Okay, sure. So they get to Circle of Confinement, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. Uh, and then we'll probably just end up shooting this for for some damage here. Um, interesting. So I think we're probably going to want to... Um, probably going to want to either cycle this or Infernal Grasp this upcoming turn again kind of waiting to see if they play runes here uh because that is certainly a possibility um we're kind of allowing them to to play a little bit cheaper than they normally would of course with the naturalist which isn't great but it's okay uh let's go ahead and do this now 
they may have a protection spell, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah. Uh, so at the very least, they're not cheapening up all of their stuff anymore, which is good. Wow, of course we draw that now. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think we'll play this for red. I think we will cycle this um, now, in fact. Okay, sick. So that's actually okay. Um, depending on what they, they get here, if they have like a Runeforge champion, I assume this is the rune stack. They, it may not be. Um, they don't really seem to be taking advantage of the runes at all, uh, which is interesting. But we do have Path of Peril here to sweep the board. We're just going to take one in the in the interim, which is fine. We really just need another threat. They were able to deal with our first pretty pretty efficiently here with the circle of confinement. So that sucks, but like it's fine. That's not ideal. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Um, yeah, I mean, again, we're we're just in remove, remove, remove as best we can uh, and hope for the best here. Unfortunately, keeping a very threat light hand with only a shakedown heavy seems to have really, really kind of come back to bite us here. Um, OK, well, that's something uh, we can deadly dispute that, which I think we will because we are going to need to draw some cards, so that's pretty reasonable. I assume they just get a uh, naturalist here. Yeah, for sure. Very good. No doubt about that. Also very good. Nice. Uh, so depending on what they hit here. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, just to save ourselves some amount of damage here, I feel like this is fairly reasonable. Um, and then we can Deadly Dispute to kill the other tokens. So at least they're not drawing cards, which is actually very relevant here. Uh, and before this one flips, we want to be able to, to kill some things. So, okay, sure. So we're going to get in for some damage here. That's not the end of the world. Um, before they attack, we want to do this so they can't draw a card. Or excuse me, draw two cards. So let's go ahead and minus one, minus one, get rid of that token. We'll draw a couple cards. Wow. was really hoping for a little better here. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not hitting super well on the draws, uh, which is fine, but definitely a little annoying. Let's go ahead and Deadly Dispute here. Just because, wow. All right, well, I mean, I think we're just dead. They get to plus this up. Yeah, unfortunately, we just did not draw well at all. I'm going to go ahead and concede, guys. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump into a game three. All right, guys, here we are for game three, and this is an absolutely terrible hand. So we do have to throw that one back. Um, this isn't great, uh, but I think we keep it and throw this back. I hate this because... That, it's not a great starting hand at all, but that actually helps quite a bit. So that does allow us to tend the pest if we so choose, uh, because we can throw this out for green. We have all of our colors now. That's pretty important. Uh, so we'll see what happens. This isn't ideal at all. Um, okay, shakedown heavy is cool. I mean, I'll attack because if they decide they want to block, that's fine. But I didn't think they would. Um, all right, here's the hoping. <laughs> uh, looks like Gruul, which is interesting. Okay. One thing we could consider is to tend the pest now, but we obviously don't want to. We've got the devilish valet with the shakedown heavy uh, and the tend the pest. So at this point, it's just a mana game. Uh, let's go ahead and shakedown heavy. Right. They may kill this early on, which is not great for us, but kind of okay. It's not the end of the world because they're really not doing that much damage to us. So kind of cool with it. Uh, and again, I will attack. I mean, I don't see a huge reason not to, aside from needing to block something, but I don't think we need to block any of this. But yeah, that's fine. Okay. So if they attack, I assume they have Spike Field Hazard, uh, which I'm not going to block. 
they probably have some amount of burn uh which is part of why i don't want to block there um okay so do we risk the attack here you know i think i do oh whoops probably should have attacked with the shakedown heavy as well but they're gonna allow us to draw a card which is phenomenal okay sick so let's go ahead and play the valet again this is setting up for the next turn win if we can get it um they have a braid sure a little surprised they didn't just block and kill the shakedown heavy but that's fine this is all kind of fine they're really gonna bolster up this uh reckless storm seeker but they're kind of out of plays now uh so the question becomes do we want to block here i think yeah that's fine let's save ourselves a little trouble uh let's get a treasure token so now if we get just a land an untapped land we win the game all right unfortunately that is not <laughs> um let's see all right so first things first i will attack because again while this doesn't we're not gonna win this turn anymore uh this still is important all right they're gonna let six through. uh that's fine so i think we can do both here and be okay so we're doing this in kind of a weird order i know but basically all we're doing is setting up the the 10 the pest next turn um seek his chariots great but still not enough to win them the game i don't believe so i think we're actually okay uh the valet again is just so good why are they crewing this now does it have haste oh they give it haste with this i'm sorry i forgot about that they give it counters and haste which is very very good this is all fine truthfully we don't have to block but i'm going to sorry guys I got like a hair in my nose or something it's very annoying uh let's go ahead and create a treasure token and theoretically wow that's very good <laughs> um do we path of peril first I don't think so i think we just go for the attack here um so we'll do this this has to be signaling to them that they basically have to remove the valet otherwise we win um cool hopefully they can't kill this all right, sick. They didn't kill it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Excellent. Um, and they didn't block? Or they haven't blocked yet? Uh, what's... Okay. Uh, we can kind of easily do this. So now, at the very least, we can block a lot, and we actually just have another Devilish Valet, so there is a world where we just still win. Ooh, very good. All right. So basically, I mean, again, we just block a lot, uh, gain ourselves a little bit of life back. Next turn, we can sweep the board if we so choose, which won't sweep the whole board. That's the only trick. Um, if we had a little extra land, we could. Goodness, I feel like... Maybe I need to shave. Maybe my mustache hairs are getting into my nose. Um, <laughs> all right, that's fine. So basically, we just block as much as we can here. And that's fine. All right, I don't know why they would... Well, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. This has first strike, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So we basically gain four out of this attack, which is great. 
And even though we can't Path of Peril killing everything, we can Path of per Peril killing a good bit here. And, uh, I mean, that's in itself pretty reasonable. Um, we can't play Titan yet. I think I will go ahead and Path of Peril here. I guess technically we should attack first, but it doesn't really matter. We just are so constrained on mana at this point that we're really not in a great position. Alright, so at the very least we've dimmed down on the amount of damage that they're doing, but I mean they still have a good bit coming through, so it's definitely scary. Yeah, see how good this becomes? <laughs> we just don't have a lot. Maybe it would have been better just to leave stuff back. I mean, it's a land, I guess. I'll take it. <laughs> it's not great. Um, all right. So what do we do? There's a world where if we draw a land off the top, we can sweep. Oh, they just kill this. So then we're just dead. Right? Yeah, we're just dead. All right. That's very unfortunate. They just had the kill. Uh, dang, that sucks. All right, well, guys, let's uh, let's have a little chat about this deck. All right, so all in all, not the best showing, I feel like, for this list. We did get one win, and we did really get to see what it was capable of. Uh, but I do think you see the, the problem with the Devilish Valet play, which is simply that it's very easy to burn out. It still only has three toughness, and so there's always a way to burn it. There's always a way to solve that problem. Uh, and unfortunately, the opponent had it. So you can't be too upset about that. It is what it is. Um... I do think we were really unlucky a couple of times there. We drew too many lands in the second game. I believe it was the second game. Uh, and not enough in the third. And like, I I mean, this has your average 24 lands, if I'm not mistaken. And so I don't feel like we are really low on the land count. So I feel like, or high. So I feel like it's, it's kind of weird that we didn't hit the lands that we wanted uh or we had too many again in that one game so you know that's okay that happens uh that i know a lot of people complain about that and i hate it too but that's part of the game that's the luck aspect of the game it it, ha it happens unfortunately it sucks when it's on recording for you guys but uh i mean that's just the reality of it i'm not gonna cut that out because that's just what happens so uh it's all good but regardless i still love this deck the power level here is phenomenal the plays that are capable uh, or the possible plays here are really really good and so i enjoy this one a lot i think it's a fun deck i highly recommend you try it hopefully you can get the obnixilis play going as well with the titan just so so good uh so i highly encourage you to check that out guys but regardless this is a fun one thank you so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic day uh we will be back tomorrow with some more standard gameplay and then of course on saturday we will have uh the the collection update series so do uh stay tuned for that keep in mind too the glorious sunrise podcast every monday at 6 a.m eastern we are having some big news announced on uh the next episode so do please check that out it's really important for us uh and a really nice little venture with country fried so please do check that out but guys thank you so much again i really appreciate it have a great day i'll see you later